Hey everyone, Dr. J with Twin City Health. Today we are going to talk about how to help your knee and how to keep it healthy. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing I want to do is talk about stretching out your quads and we'll also talk, talk about stretching out your calves. We want to loosen up the tissues above and below that knee joint. So um, you can do this standing with a chair, it's easier, or if you're really great at balancing, you don't need the chair. But try to grab your ankle of the affected knee. Um, and I want to not only uh, pull my knee towards the ground, so it's pointing straight down, but I also want to think about rolling my hips under me, right? Tucking my, my hips under me to get more of a stretch through my quad. So what that looks like, pull that knee down and then really focus on squeezing my glutes to tuck my hips under me, getting a better quad stretch, uh, using a chair or something to help you balance on. Uh, so another exercise or stretch that I'm going to talk to you guys about is doing stretching out your hamstrings. So again, more posterior chain or the back of your leg. Um, simplest one is you're going to be to bend down and try to touch your toes if you can. Uh, if that's hard, you want to try to keep your legs straight. Um, but if that is hard, just go to wherever your level is. You can even uh, use your hands to rest on your knees or your shins um, if you can't get all the way to the floor. Another version I like to do is one leg up, pointing your toes up towards the ceiling. Again, pushing my hips back and bending towards that front foot if I can. Uh, and again, if reaching down is too difficult for you, you can always modify it by grabbing a chair. Um, again, you want to probably have another chair next to you if your balance is not stable. But putting that leg up on the chair, bringing my hips forward so I'm kind of bending forward and I should feel that stretch all through here. Okay, so now we're going to stretch out the calf. Uh, and that's this muscle back here. One of my favorite stretches, you can do this one of two ways, but my favorite way personally is to put my foot up against the wall, trying to get my foot as high as I can, and then again, I'm gonna press my hips forward towards the wall to get a good stretch in the back of my calf. Um, so I, again, I push my hips forward, I hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds, same with the quad stretch, hold it for about 20 or 30 seconds. The second way that you can stretch out your calf is putting it back, so I'm stretching this calf, keeping my ankle flat against the floor and, floor, and again, I'm pushing my hips forward to get more of a stretch on that posterior aspect of my leg. All right, so this next exercise is to strengthen the front part of our shin called your anterior tibialis. For this exercise, all you're gonna need is the wall. And if I stand more upright with my legs or my knees locked out and my feet closer to the wall, it's gonna be more difficult. Versus if I move my feet further from the wall with a slight bend in my knees, this will be easier. The point of this exercise or how you're going to perform it is you're going to bring your toes up off the ground and hold that for a second and then bring them back down. You want to do anywhere from 10 to 20 repetitions when you're doing this exercise. Again, that would be easier, harder would be straighter up, uh, knees locked out, and then going from there. So another the strengthening exercise I want to talk about would be to strengthen your hamstrings. So earlier we stretched them, right now we're going to strengthen them and it's called a good morning. All you're going to do is keep your legs about hip width apart, slight bend in your knees, and then you're just going to bend forward from your waist. And as I come back upright, I'm thinking about squeezing my glutes and squeezing my hamstrings to pull my body back upright. So a few repetitions would look like this. Doesn't normally feel like much, but I promise you the next day you'll feel it. Again, about 10 to 20 repetitions when you're performing this exercise. So the last exercise I want you guys to actually practice would be walking backwards. This is so good for your knee health, um, just because everything's normally in a forward motion. So walking backwards can actually strengthen your knees. So uh, if you're on a flat surface, I think it's really great. Practice walking backwards a few times a day um, and let me know how you do.